Welcome to the video. We're going to see Chris Froome. Listen to this. Listen to this. I don't know if you can hear that. My <laughs> entertainment with disc brakes continues. All right, it's Chris Froome talking about disc brakes. What would Chris Froome know, though, you know? What would he know? He, he's not an engineer. Like, he, he rides a bike. That's about it. All right, let's have a listen to what, what more he says. He's in Grand Canaria. Good place to train. Houston has uh, really left me hanging. Invite the guy on training camp and he just sits on the beach all day. So, yeah, not impressed at all. Not impressed at all. Not really. Um, he's, his coach has prescribed him something a little bit easier today. Um, <clears throat> I'm doing pretty big volume at the moment as well, so um, he's he's doing a little bit more focused work at the moment, I think. So today I've got the last day of a block. I've got seven hours with just over 4,000 meters of elevation. Um, yeah, not not what he was down to do today. So that's why I'm alone. I don't know if you can hear that. My <laughs> entertainment with disc brakes continues. Um, yeah, I think they're, they're still a work in progress. I think the technology is improving, but the, just the margins are so slim. You do a big descent and the alignment moves completely. So, um, kind of need to stop and readjust everything again. So, I don't know, uh, uh, we're riding Shimano at the moment. Um, I hear the new 12 speed Shimano is, uh, has, has sorted out some of these issues, but I think. No, it hasn't. Uh, I've ridden a new 12 speed Shimano. Uh, I just had a group set, kept it brand new, sold it. It hasn't fixed it. It's still crap, unfortunately. With all the stuff with the 11 speed, Still getting a lot of rubbing, getting one piston firing more than the other one. With and that's that's the same problem with the uh, the new 12 speed road. Which uh, always puts things out of alignment. But uh, yeah, no matter how many mechanics I've spoken to or taken the bike to, you just can't get 100% on top of it. It's always going to eventually start getting a few issues as soon as you start doing some some really big descents but c'est la vie the time more the time being just put the earphones in and pretend i can't hear it so there you go chris Froome, um talking about disc brakes now because chris Froome is chris Froome, he can speak a little bit more open about that um you know he's made his coin he's done his bit for cycling he's done a great job but yeah, man, straight up, you ask any experienced rider, they all absolutely hate road disc compared to the rim brake bike they had beforehand, like the quality rim brake. Rim race, rim road, that's where it's at. Um, now, for disc brakes, for sure, the great application for gravel. I don't care my gravel bike if the road is rubber a bit because I'm on gravel and I like the mud protection and all that stuff, you know. But when it comes to road race, I ain't using disc brakes, man. You know what I mean? I, ain't using disc, I don't need disc brakes to control a 25 mil tire and i don't want fatter than 25 or even 28 mil tire on my road bike because i want speed you know i want speed man uphill downhill you know especially uphill i want that speed and if i want to be on a fat tire i'll use my gravel bike so to cap it off if you got fat tires wider than 32 mil then disc brakes for sure if you got skinny tires, 25 mil high pressure road race, you want every single second, you want maximum aero gains, it has to be rim brake. Disc brakes require extra spokes, and you got that big flappy, fappy rotor. You got with 160 on the back, 140, you got an extra 30 centimeters of surface area that you have to drag through the wind, you get a crosswind. All those extra spokes, you feel it. it's like a flywheel effect, just dragging you down. I mean, it's good for training, but if you want speed and want to go fast, so I guess you could go disc for training and then rim for race. Extra, extra faff and dead weight in training. 
and then you jump on your rim brake, rim brake bike for racing or TTs or Strava, you're going to fly, man. You're going to feel like, man, this is where it's at. So disc brakes probably good for training because this is heavy and it feels more dead, you know, on the road bike. But when it comes to look at that, look at that, look at that front wheel, man. It's like there's nothing there. It's just so lightweight, so aero. The mechanics love working on rim brake. Disc roads are a pain in the ass, man. Just ask any professional mechanic. All these noobs out there, all these hubbards out there. Oh, disc brakes better for road during Ida. What would Joe know? What would Chris Rome know? I know nothing. I'm a barrister doing a keto diet, and I just spent 20,000 bucks on an S-Works SL7 tarmac because I don't know nothing. All right? You want to be a champ on the road? You want to be your champion, all right? Your fitter self, your faster self. Rim brakes for road, disc for dirt. You you like riding big, bigger than 30 mil, 32 mil tires on the road? That's that's fine, man. The disc brakes going to be for you, all right? You don't mind the rubbing and all the extra dead weight and aero resistance. You know, uh, cool. You know, I got disc brakes on my e bike. I got disc brakes on my gravel bike. I got disc brakes on my mountain bike. I love disc brakes, love them, but not for the road. All right, not for road bikes, man. Okay, rim, rim. Rim for the win. Performance takes the win. You do, do, right? What would you know, mate? I watch GCN and they say that road disc is good and, and the latest is the greatest and, and you got to get tubeless and hookless and run your tyres on your road bike for performance at 72 PSI. The new zip... The new zip hookless mate speed weaponry yeah it's, it's sick bro it's like four thousand bucks for carbon wheels and and disc brakes you don't wear your rims out you just wear out expensive rotors and you pay four thousand bucks for carbon rims it's a sick deal mate you know you save money on your rims you gotta buy a whole new bike for Altegra nine kilos seven thousand pound mate it's a bargain so doing righty you are wrong just like you're wrong about sugar, Chris Froome, he wins those stages in ketosis, fasted training, intermittent fasted training, you don't need sugar, the body has no need for sugar, it's not an essential nutrient, you need fats, healthy fats, why am I fat? Oh, do me a